Iranian men wear hijabs in viral protest. Iranian male farm pharmacy workers have shown solidarity with their female co-workers by wearing black hijabs in protest of a new order by the Iranian Food and Drug Administration that requires pharmacy managers to monitor how their female employees wear the hijab, and anyone wishing to open a new pharmacy must submit a written commitment to the authorities promising to follow this new rule. A few weeks ago, two uh, pharmacies in Tehran and Amul were shut down by authorities because their female employees allegedly wore their hijabs incorrectly. But the head of Nizam News Agency, a media outlet associated with the Iranian judiciary, claimed that the pharmacy in Tehran was closed because its owner disrespected the person who warned her to observe the hijab. Despite the government's harsh response, the male protest, the male workers' protest serves as a powerful and humorous reminder of resistance and against the mandatory hijab law and the regime that enforces it. All right, let's look at this. I love these pictures. Mm -hmm. Yes, wait, can look you scroll down? This guy, yes. This, guy, this is the best one. Look. Yeah, yeah, wait, <laughs> click on the tweet so we can see it in like, we need a full, oh, God, full size. This is amazing. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way he's looking at the camera. This it's is so amazing. good. It's so good. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Oh wow, look at this guy's so hairy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so, so tell us more. Tell us more. What's going on here? Oh, look. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's oh, pretty self-explanatory. So the government was like Oh, you, you oh, female pharmacy guy. worker. I love that guy in the middle, too. Yeah. Like, yeah this is the guy, this he guy looks so sticky. happy. <laughs> he looks so happy to be wearing that hijab. Oh, you know, I see a lot of, I saw before all this happened, I saw a lot of videos of religious people going to pharmacies and harassing the owners there or the staff there because they were not wearing the hijab. And it's just exactly. so infuriating. I, wish, I should have had a clip ready for that because that is, mm. that is, that is what makes me, so for more, more, more people to see what this is a reaction to. Do we have a clip for that or should I look for it? I, I don't have a clip for that. So if you want to go find that, that'd be excellent. I mean, mm. what I, you said, what's going on here, it's pretty self-explanatory. The government was like, hey, we're going to be super harsh towards female pharmacy workers in particular for some reason. I don't know why female pharmacy workers like... Why is the pharmacy sector being targeted right now? I don't know. <laughs> but because there's been a lot of obviously disobeying the hijab law recently. Um, and the male co-workers were like, hey, if you're going to make them wear this, then we'll wear it too. Which I thought was um, uh, great because it's very, it's, 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 you know, a symbol of resistance, right? But it's also very humorous and or at least it's funny to me i think it's funny to most people to see that grown man wearing the hijab <laughs> um and i think humor is really really important as a tool of protest um because it helps take the fear out of um a tyrannical authority right you're like, I'm not going to let you make me fearful. I'm going to I'm gonna parody this and turn it on its head. And if I can laugh at you, then I can take away the power you have by reign of fear, right? Um, so I really like that element of it. <laughs> Gaijin American is saying, to be honest, I always wanted a hood to swish around my head. <laughs> um, and he's also asking, is cross dressing legal? In Iran, um, no, but and okay, so people should know cross dressing is different from being trans, right? So if you want to wear, if you're a um, man who wants to transition to a woman, and then after transition and after surgery, you are allowed to wear female clothes, but not just not not before transition, you can't do that. So cross dressing, no, but. Here's I found I found three videos. You want to see them? By the way, before I go through these videos, some, some other people were saying hello from Poland, and then some were saying, anyways, mm. can I have a Philly girl shout out? Yes, you can. And then somebody else saying love from the UK. 
Okay, so let me show you this video. Let me know if you have audio, okay? Hold on, let me go from the beginning. Yes. Okay, okay. So... Okay, so this is a this is from way back in January, right? So so this is like the context of how all of this happened. So this is a somebody, a religious person, went to this, um, <laughs> went to this pharmacy, and he uh, told the doctor, the lady doctor, to cover her hair. And the entire pharmacy told them that we're not going to serve you here. Get the hell out. <laughs> so that wow. was the reaction. So the religious person is now taking out his camera and he's recording like, so you told me that you're not going to serve me. Oh. So this this is now the religious person trying to record a crime that you told me that you're not going to serve. You're telling me that you're not serving me because I told that lady, the, the doctor lady to. I, to uh, I bet this was one of the pharmacies that got shut down because he said that the pharmacy it, got it, shut down because yep. they, they had backlash against the person that told them to obey the law. <laughs> yeah. So this video got this pharmacy shut down. Wow. Right? So let's look at what happened. Like I ask her to wear her hijab, you guys are telling me that you're not going to serve me. So like the 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 doctor lady, Khanum doctor, to cover her job, I as a Muslim, I gave her, um, I told, I warned her to wear the hijab. By the way, remember, this is a civilian. Okay. This, yeah, Mr. exactly. Islamic care. X is calling them an Islamic care. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's good. Oh my that god, is good. that's what it is. That's what the Islamic community care. policing is. You're so right. Holy crap. But this the the difference between okay, so here's the thing. Being an Islamic Karen is in the Quran. Right, it's mandated by God. It's called Amr ibn Maruf and Nahas Munkar. So what it means is that you don't wait for the officials. You you execute the law as a civilians, right? So that's what you're. This is, by the way, something that Biden once, not knowing what he's talking about, promoted because he was like, oh, <laughs> he was oh, right. He did do that. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, was Yeah, he so didn't bad. know. He had no idea what he was, what scripture he was reading. He was like saying, "Oh, Islam is so good," and he didn't know the scripture that he was reading was about this. <laughs> so oh, you are God. basically. Oops. This is what turns. Oh yeah, this. Hey, go back. I'm not done. This is what turns the civilians against each other, right? You have within the country's laws that you are supposed to just enforce the laws, right? Sorry, I said execute earlier. I should have said enforce. But look what happens. Look how this lady doctor, what she does. I don't know why she calls her a lady doctor. I don't think she's a doctor. This is a pharmacy. You don't have doctors in the pharmacy. I think. They, but she, you do have just... to be a doctor to be a pharmacist. Oh, really? Okay, okay. So that's the lady that she's uh, that he's talking about. He's she's coming out fierce, and she's like, "Look, my my father is somebody who gave uh, his life in um, sacrificed his life in war. Okay, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for my father, you wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Like he's basically these are people. These are the children of the people who went to war for for this country, and they're saying that you are, this country is turning on the people who they gave the most for for the mm. country that's what they're saying which is true so she's like get the hell out of here like, get get the hell out of here she says i don't want your money here so that was one pharmacy, right? And then there was <laughs> when you see what? an Iranian woman of that age coming to you like this, you know what's about to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a problem on your hands. Yeah, so that pharmacy She's was coming... closed. She's coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. What is this? Okay, 
<laughs> oh my god all right this is so good hold on so here, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> wow okay okay so uh, this is another religious woman telling this uh, other pharmacy lady whatever i don't know what they're called um to to cover up right the personal to cover up and she's saying that you do not deserve to be served here uh, and then she cover, follows up by saying go tell your husband to come here so at least he sees four huris huri what is are the angel huris are the angels that you get to no, have sex I know, with in. why would he come I to think, the pharmacy to see that i don't understand because i think she is referring to the fact that to, to the idea that a lot of religious people are jealous of all these non-hijabi women because they're pretty and they're ugly as and these hijabi women are ugly um and they're the reason why religious women in iran want other women to cover up is because mm. they, they say it actually because they think that their men would leave them if they could see all these beautiful women right so okay. she's i think touching upon that she's like go tell your husband to come here so that maybe he could see some beautiful woman for once Basically, she's saying that you're ugly. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a tough spot to be in, too, because the hijab is supposed to make you unattractive. That's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. This is actually a genuine fear. Like, <laughs> the government tells religious people that if we get rid of hijab, your husbands will leave you because there's just too many beautiful women and and like they're and they said like it's not your husband's fault like it's it's a man it's these it's whores a, these dirty no, it's whores like, it's like they say it's a man's nature so the reason they say the reason why women have to cover up is women have to understand that a man has no choice but to act up in his desires if he sees mm. beautiful things right mm. so they say like women women have to be kind to men and cover up so that they are not forced to go ahead and like abuse women or leave their wives and stuff like that right my word and they actually word it as men's rights right they just say they say no this is this is a woman covering up in iran is based on government framing a men's rights issue oh my god because, yeah because they say like you do not have the right to in public see all these things that puts men in stress because mm. men's yeah men's uh you know they have you know like you know you have women the have libido. hormones men have hormones yeah. too yeah they have weird libido and you are just in public so we have no choice but to see all this beauty and then we act up so you are forcing seeing all of this beauty upon us and we're going to get horny so this is basically the a men's rights issue and Armin, if you, see, you yeah. need to write an article about this from the perspective of men's rights that would be so yeah. interesting <laughs> no, I'm, I'm dead serious right now i'm right. dead yeah. serious right now you right. need to do that because yeah. i would i would yeah. i would love to see that please do that for queer yeah. majority i actually listen to like a lot of religious women they say like you know women have certain rights and there's certain things that need to we cannot force upon women but we, we women have some responsibility to men as well, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. cannot force this is like a men's rights issue. And I've seen religious women explain that this is a woman's rights issue, which is bizarre. But let me actually well, do one more. My goodness, Dylan, I didn't realize that you men are such sensitive flowers. They need to be protected. <laughs> you guys need to be protected. The, 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 I mean, that sounds so stressful. I'm so sorry that oh, you go insane. through this mental strain. <laughs> <laughs> I should really have some more appreciation. Well, you are. You're putting a beanie on today. It's helping me so much. <laughs> <laughs> usually, usually I'm suffering here. You have no idea. You have no idea how hard it is to do this show with, oh it, with you all the God. time. So no, I want to show something up. really funny, though. So this isn't actually the first time that Iranian men have worn the hijab as a form of protest. So actually, let me make this bigger um so here we can but what's interesting is actually traditionally the regime has used forcing men to wear hijab as a shaming tactic so like 
this example here on the right was a very famous example of them trying to use this to humiliate this. I think he was a student activist. Um, but in general, like Iranian men have worn the hijab a lot for different forms of protest. So, like, I love these guys. <laughs> Um, and then I think this might be my favorite photo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Isn't this the best thing ever? Um. I love like seeing the mustaches come out of the chador, <laughs> like the glasses plus the mustache coming out of the hijab chador is this so is funny to me. <laughs> And I love how this guy's like, you know, hiding his face a little bit. You know how like he's like, oh, I'm being so modest. I'm so coquettish. Like, I'm, I'm not, don't look at me. I'm bashful. I'm shy. I'm hiding my face. Don't look at me. Um, and then wait, this wait, guy's just, just like, chilling. Look at his face. He knows this is funny. <laughs> wait, I, do I look good with hijab? Hold on. Let me see. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, sister. <laughs> is, this, is this good? Yes. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't have anything else. I just have a shirt. So just, yeah, we need to get you properly wrapped up. Yeah. <laughs> oh All right. God. Okay. That was it. I'm glad it was easy to find all those pharmacy videos because I don't know. Yeah. I, I was hoping people get their context. That was really awesome. Okay. Thank you. This is why we need to have someone that speaks Persian on this show or can read and write it, really. Hmm. All right. <laughs> One thing I don't remember is like, they do look sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> they do be sexy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we got a super chat. Thank you. Uh, oh, there are men agitators. You want to read this one? Um, okay, so for everyone listening, this is in reference to something we'll be showing later at the end of the show. Thank you for at this the the uh, 50 Swedish krona saying correction to a prior statement. Counselor Fudge did not prepare a single video, but three. We told him that all three were sent. Yeah, yeah, we, we have all three. We'll be showing all three yes, later. We have. Three. Yes, yes. Guys, next time do just one video, not three videos, okay? Because The Armin today... agitators, they're giving spoilers. No spoilers, guys. Yeah, no spoilers. But thank you for the super chat. <laughs> okay. All right. Can we clap for the next news? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Keisha American is saying, I love that these men are covering up. Americans need to do that more. It's so hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> these straight men need to be covering up. These sluts walking around showing their knees and their good shoulders. Really, fellas, get it together. Have some... Mm. You know what's it called? Hey, ot, hey, ot. <laughs> have some, hey, uh, some shame, hey, uh. some manners. <laughs> yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.